welcome to everything about Windows. In this video, we uh, I want to show you in detail what is new and what you can expect with the Android 8.0 Oreo update, which brings the Samsung Experience 9.0 to your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, this is the Galaxy S7 Edge SMG 935. So it's the Exynos version of the um, Galaxy S7 Edge here. And um, uh, yeah, I want first of all thank you for all the support that we reached 176 subscriber, subscribers. That would re that means really a lot to me because um, I see that you like my videos and um, you I, I um, yeah the channel growed up so much from 100 subscribers one week ago to 176 subscribers. So I really welcome every new subscriber here and um, if you have any question leave them down below in the comments i also um, i um, support or i give answers to all your questions um, which you leave down in the comments below so uh, no further ado let's start with the um, with the observation of android 8 so as you may know, with Android 8.0, we get the Samsung Experience 9.0. So what is new? For example, we have the new app drawer, which the Galaxy S8, Note 8 got with um, Andro uh, Samsung Experience 8.1 and 8.5, but now with uh, Samsung Experience 9.0, also the Galaxy S7 Edge get this new uh, software UI. And um, you can see that we have the uh, new launcher where you can swipe down and up to get or to um, to switch between home uh, home drawer and app drawer. So uh, that's pretty useful. And also you can set that when you swipe down on your home screen that you can expand the notification um, the notification shade there. And um, that's not all. So um, let's begin with the uh, walkthrough. So the first new thing here in the Samsung Experience 9.0 is that you have now the ability to customize the color in the folder. So um, in Nougat you've got these um, basic colors but now you have the option to select a custom color. So here you can see that we have a circle where you can set pretty every color you can imagine. So uh, you can um, use your finger to choose a um, uh, color you want. So you will see your current color and the new color you've uh, you chosen right now. And you can also choose the opacity. So if you want that the color is much more um, uh, light and um, you can see through the uh, folder color, you can set this here. And here you can see the uh, or select the brightness or um, how dark the color should be. And with done, you can select um, or apply your color you have chosen. Um, here you can see the recently used colors. So if you have tried something out and you really like a color you have, um, you have built here with this option, you can select um, all the colors you have, um, let's say, created before. The next new feature with Samsung Experience 9.0 is just something new for S8, S8 Plus and S7 Edge users because this was already on the Galaxy Note 8 with the Samsung Experience 8.5 and that is the dual messengers which we can fight in the advanced features in these settings. So um, basically the dual messenger is a feature where you can clone any kind of social media apps so to have two different accounts. So let's say um, you have a business or you have a business and you want to use Snapchat either for your business and for private you have here the option in the dual messenger to um, select an application which is a messenger and here you can see the available apps. So of course WhatsApp and Snapchat are here and um, if I turn on um, Snapchat, for example, for the dual messenger, it will give me a prompt. I can say, okay, let's install a second, um, 
um, Snapchat application, then it will give me a disclaimer. You confirm. Then you can select uh, contact, contact selection, so you can choose a specific contact for the dual messenger application, but let's leave it on turn off. Let's turn off the uh, contact selection and now you can see that is, it is turning on dual messenger. And here you, we have the prompt that second Snapchat application is um, have been installed. And if we go to the do, um, app drawer, we can see that now we have Snapchat there as a dual messenger app. And you can recognize it if you look closely here. So I try to focus here. Um, you can see that we have an orange circle there. And um, if we go to the regular Snapchat application, you can see that it's yeah a regular Snapchat application. And when I start the dual messenger app, you can see that I can log in with another account. Here on the bottom right, I don't know if you can see it, um, you have also um, something which tells you you are in the dual messenger app of Snapchat. And um, you can also pretty easily uninstall the dual messenger app by just um, holding it and then uninstall and then uninstall second Snapchat app and um, all data related to the second Snapchat app will be deleted. So um, the regular Snapchat app is not um, deleted anyway. So the next thing I want to show you is the always on display. And when now the always on display is not anymore in the section display, now it's in locked screen and security. So we have here the always on display setting and here the clock and face widgets. So um, let's jump in into the always on display and you will notice that now we have just here some options because the main options for the um, always on display is in another section. So um, here you can see that it's also giving us a tip that the section to change the clock um, design is now somewhere else. But here we get um, an option which is new like always on display alerts. And here you can, if you have many um, or other applications which support this um, always on display alerts, for example, here it is the reminder. So um, the always on display alert will show you, for example, here with the reminder app, um, a reminder notification with text. So it will show you a detailed uh, notification, which you can delete from your always on display or, um, or um, select that you have re read this um, alert from this application. Then we get also the um, option which was there in Nougat before, for example, show always, or you can uh, set a schedule. So for example, from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., the always on display will be activated. And that's basically it here. And now um, we go to the more interesting part and that's named clock and face widgets. And um, let's go to the clock style. And um, here you can see now we have the designs for the always on display. So we have some this um, we have some basic clocks here. So these are the basic clocks. But now there are some new clocks like this one. This one is my favorite clock. But we also get some analog clocks here. You have also the ability like a nougat to choose a picture as an always on display, a calendar. Also a dual clock as always on display. And here you have now also the um, the night or the edge clock option. So there is not a separate option for edge clock anymore. It's now also in the always on display section. And here you can also tap to select from the theme store and theme for your always on display. So that is, or these are the settings for the always on display, the customization settings. But under face widget, oh no, sorry, not here. Under face widget, we have now um, this feature I will show you, um, which we also had on the Galaxy S8 and Note 8. So if you double tap on the clock and you swipe to the right or to the left, you can here control your music, um, show something from, from your calendar. So your next event, you can see your next alarm. 
um, and that's it. So um, you can also disable or enable some face widget and also um, reorder them in which order you want to see them on your um, on your always on display. So the next big thing or the next new feature is the clock style. So you can see that here is a completely um, new, yeah, let's say um, look of the um, of the this, uh, clock. So you can now change the design like on the always on display for your lock screen. And I think this is one of the biggest or nicest feature you can find in Android 8 because um, it's at much more per a personal touch to your device. So here you can also choose um, the same um, clock styles like on the OS on display, just not a calendar of course, but every clock app or clock design you can choose here. You can also change the color and here you can see it says adaptive color. So what it does, and this is the basic, or this is enabled by default to this adaptive color thing, is that um, it adds a little bit of color in your clock um, depending of which accent color is in your wallpaper. This is nice, but um, if you don't like to have an accent color, you can choose any color here, but you can also like in the folder, choose your own color. So let's make this a blue one and you can see that the clock is now completely in blue. So this is really nice. I like this because now you can much more per personalize your lock screen in Android 8. Of course, you get also the face widgets on the lock screen. So also by swiping down, uh, swiping right or left. So the next really cool feature in Android 8 or Samsung Experience 9.0 also under lock screen and security is um, also in the lock screen and security part. And that is the notification settings. And here you can see we got a bunch of new features or settings there. And the first one is nothing new. This option you had also in Android Nougat and Android 7.0. And uh, that was to hide the content. So if someone wrote something to you on WhatsApp and you wa don't want that something else which turns on the lock screen can read the message, you can turn on hide content. But now also, um, Besides the hide content feature, we have also notifications only. So I will show you how this looks on my lock screen. Here you can see that we have now just basic, um, basic icons here in, and these are the last three. And you can see by plus four that we have more than these three, um, notifications. And when you tap them, you will see them in detail expanding in your notification or control panel. So this looks also amazing. So you have more of your um, lock screen wallpaper and that, that just looks um, really clean in my opinion. So the next thing is, um, so we have to turn on notification icons only is to change the transparency of the um, notification toast or notification banner here. So uh, you can set the transparency really low or you can set the transparency much too transparent. So you can also select that it auto reverse the text color, but you can see when I turn this off, I can't read anything because it, the background of the wallpaper is black. But when I enable this, it will show me um, the message in white so I can read this uh, much more easy than uh, when I turn this off. And also we have now in the advanced setting uh, something which um, we can select which app should show us a notification. We also have the option to say um, that um, Android should just show us our notifications on the lock screen or on the always on display. So this is also a nice feature. So of course we get also some basic Android features, but this feature basically was there um, since Android 7.0, but not on the Samsung phones, but Samsung added this f uh, option with Android 8.0. And this is if when you long press an application, for example, uh, 
Twitter that you get these shortcuts, for example, to scan a QR code, a new message, a new tweet, or to search something. You get this option, of course, also here um, in Chrome, on Google+, Plus, um, on Google Maps, also on YouTube, for example, to jump directly to your subscriptions to the trending section or to search directly for a video. Also on stock apps like Messages, like in the phone dialer, but um, apparently not in the camera app and also not in the gallery app, but in uh, things like calendar that works also in uh, context, you have also this feature um, and many, many more, for example, also the clock, but I won't, I don't want to show you yet, uh, yet all these apps which have these. So um, this would, would just take too long. And here in the settings under notification, we can enable something which is called um, under the option icon badges. So we can in general enable or disable this so that we won't, don't um, want to see these badges here on applications. We can now change the badge style, which is, which is also a new uh, nice option. So you can show it without number. So you will see just a little dot over each app icon or folder. And um, you can of course leave it like the classic style. So with the number of um, your missed or unread notifications. But what is new here is also to show notification. So um, if we go to an app where we have a notification, we long press and hold, you will see the notification you have missed. But um, now also everything is synchronized. So for example, in Google Plus, I have two unread messages. Now, if I go to the control panel, delete this message, you will see that the icon badge is gone because I deleted it also from the, um, from the notification area. And also um, the other way, when I swipe here the notification, so we see that I have a missed Twitter notification. And when I delete it, you will see that the Twitter icon is gone. So now it's synchronized with the notification area and the icon um, badges here in the app drawer. The next feature I want to show you guys is the edge lighting. So um, if you have a Galaxy S8, S8 Plus or Note 8, you will know this feature, of course. But now it's apparently here on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So you have here options like um, to choose if you want to see edge lighting when screen is on, is off or always. You can see the edge lighting style. So you can change um, the effect from basic, multicolor. Um, so we see here the effect to glow or glitter. Um, you can also change the color. So you can also um, change custom colors for um, each application. So you can here select it like in the app folder and so on. So you can set a customized color for each application. And um, you can select also the transparency. So how transparent the edge lighting effect should be and also the white effect, how big or white this uh, edge lighting effect should be. So this is nice. Also, for example, when I go to Samsung Music, which also um, is here, you will also get um, the edge lighting effect when playing a song. So this is also new in Android 8. The next feature I want to show you guys is in the home screen. So now we have Bixby, but not Bixby Voice, Bixby Home. So Bixby Home will basically show you um, interesting panels or tiles. I don't know how to name this, but you can see I have here the Flipboard with some um, some news. I have uh, my today activity here of um, Asself, so how many steps I made and so on. Um, I have Galaxy app suggestions here, Nerby Places. I can see Samsung themes. If I don't like any of these cards or I don't want that they show up again, I can, um, oops. So I can select this three dot menu here and I can 
hide for now, don't show again. When I select don't show again, it would never appear. But when I want to hide it just for now, I can, oops, I can swipe to the right to um, to delete it. I see my calendar, my uh, a panel for Twitter, which you can enable if you have the Twitter app um, installed here. I can see my last measured heart rate here, my most visited web page pages, um, do we, the weather for today or tomorrow, I can also check here, um, my frequently used apps and also something for GIFs. So if I like this GIF, it will bring me to the website where this GIF is. So this is nice. You have also here in Bixby Home settings, like you can select which cards you want to see in Bixby Home. You can also download some cards for um, available apps. You can um, select when Bixby Home should update. Um, you can also get or select if you want to have notification and see um, informations about Bixby here. Guys, the next feature I want to show you is just for S7 Edge users. Um, so it's the Edge function, of course which um, Galaxy S7 Edge users have. So you can see we got or we have a new design because now it's more of a grid or I don't know how I can explain this, but um, I hope you can see this, that here we have something like a grid, a milky glass effect here. And I think this looks really nice because it's more, it, it just looks cleaner or much more modern. Um, so um, the edge or the edge panels are basically the same. So nothing has changed here. Um, of course, you can download some new edge panels in from the Galaxy Store, but there are not no um, new um, app panels. Just the Smart Select is new here, and that's it. Or the Task Edge. Sorry, I forgot the Task Edge. Oh no, the Task Edge was there, but um, now a Smart Select is new to take screenshots and but now what's new in the edge panel you have here an icon which shows a uh, free bars and when you tap this you will see that um, we can see an overview of all our edge panels we have activated and we can directly jump to them so if i go want to go to the device maintenance i can jump directly to the device maintenance or i want to um, have the quick tools there or I want to jump back to the apps edge. So this is um, a good function because you can now much easier switch directly to an um, to an yeah, edge panel you want to use. And what is also new here which Galaxy Note 8 users um, have and um, what S8 and S7 Edge users now get with Android 8 is the option to create an app pair. So um, let's delete something from here, the calculator, and I go to create an app pair. So now I can select two different apps and I will show you for what I want to use uh, to um, select two different apps. So uh, let's select Google Maps and uh, let's select subscribe account. So um, now we click on done there and you see that this app pair is created. And now when I open this up, both of these apps are gonna open up in multi-window. So this is really nice because if you, for example, frequently use two different ap apps simultaneously at the same time, you can now also use them um, or open them always uh, much faster than open this app, then select multi-window. So this is much uh, effective, an effective way to use two apps at the same time. I can also create an app shortcut when I tap here um, to add this, um, to add this shortcut on my home screen. So this is a nice feature we have here in Android 8. So now we are heading to the end of this video and I want just to show you some small things 
in Android 8, which are a little bit of hidden. So in the Wi-Fi um, option in advanced features, now there is an option to turn on Wi-Fi automatically. So Android uh, or the software, when you enable this, will um, detect um, when you always connect to a specific Wi-Fi network and it will turn on based on your um, location. So you have to um, make sure that location services is enabled. So every time where, where you have Wi-Fi and it um, knows where you have Wi-Fi, it will turn on the Wi-Fi connection automatically on when you have uh, reached a specific location where uh, normally you use Wi-Fi. So this is a nice um, addition and this works really nice. So um, a small new thing I have here. So um, we have also now um, an option which is called autofill service. So um, every time you log in with an application or with an account in an application like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, um, you will ask to um, autofill um, either with Samsung Pass or with Google. And the next time, for example, after a factory reset of your phone, um, basically, if you are logged in with your Samsung account or your Google account, so it depends where you have saved this autofill information, um, the phone can fill in your email address and your um, password for an account in a specific app. So this is saving much time if you um, switch, for example, also to a newer phone or um, you have factory reset it for a reason your device, then you can um, let Google or Samsung autofill your um, account informations to log in really fast without typing in the email address or username and the password. And under sound mode, we have an option which um, when you have mute as a ringtone or mute, mute as sound mode enabled, you can select temporary mute and you can s uh, select your mute um, duration. So if you want to have mute, uh, muted your phone for just one hour, two hours or three hours, or you can also select custom time. So this is also nice and a little bit hidden in Android. Under uh, display, we have now an option which is called block accidental touches. So it will prevent that uh, accidentally your device um, registers some input when it's in a dark place or um, via the um, with the here the detecting sensors here, it will detect that it's in a pocket. Your device will not turn on and not give any um, accidental touches. So I will de demonstrate this by um, turning on my display here and um, holding down uh, the sensor so it think that it is in a pocket or something like this and you will see a message touch input blocked and um, now everything is blocked and the screen turns off again uh, like normal. In Android 8 we have now also a game launcher which is completely or has a completely new interface so you can see it's not anymore a small um, application where your apps are in now it's more like a big screen, a much full screen interface here where all your apps are in. You have here um, the performance mode, so you can save power by tapping here. And you can go to high performance, but it will also say that um, it will increase battery consumption and heat. So if you tap on OK, um, then it will turn on the high performance mode and you can go back to normal performance. You can uh, select mute game when starting an app on game, the game tools and when you swipe up, you can now um, discover more popular games here. So um, this is definitely a new thing or improved thing over Nougat and Marshmallow before. So yeah, you can definitely check out my, um, my tutorial how to install this custom ROM. So um, you have to note this isn't beta and it's a leaked 
um, ROM or Elite firmware, um, but it, it's everything from Samsung. And um, I must say this ROM is really good. It's I don't know if it's in beta or an alpha build, but um, it's really fast, fluid. I don't have um, lags, any lags when opening or playing games or opening apps. So I think also it's much faster because uh, the animations are faster. And um, that's, that's really nice. And um, now you have also here the list view. I forgot to mention that, sorry for this. But uh, no, the performance here in Android 8 is really nice. So um, definitely um, appreciate this. And uh, battery life is good, could be better, but it's an unofficial build. Um, I got, I think, three and a half hours, um, an average of screen on time. Also, I reached one time four hours of screen on time. So this was my highest screen on time. And it's definitely not bad for an um, pre-release of Android 8. And I think they will m really improve this. And um, yeah, I have read, or many of you have, or some of you have an issue with the Wi-Fi signal, and um, it's not because of the ROM. So uh, it's because Samsung has, in some S7 edges, are um, Wi-Fi chips from Samsung built in, and also in some Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge there are Wi-Fi chips from um, another ma manufacturer, so not from Samsung, from another manufacturer. And um, when you have not the Samsung Wi-Fi chip, you will get this um, really bad signal problem because it's not optimized um, yet for the other manufacturer chip. So um, I'm a lucky user that I have the Samsung Wi-Fi chip and that's why I have um, the same good signal with my Wi-Fi network as in Nougat. And um, I also have an issue, I maybe could can demonstrate this um, when I am in a deep setting on app and I multiple times go back that sometimes, not always, but sometimes, so now it didn't happen, but sometimes that the device reboots. So these are the only um, flaws in this ROM, but everything really is nice. So um, this was my detailed walkthrough of um, the Android 8 Oreo update with Samsung Experience 9.0. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, as I mentioned before. Um, subscribe to my channel, that would really be nice, so that we can grow up fast and reach the... Uh, 1k subscriber mark but first of all we have to reach the 200 subscriber mark um, I also want or would like to change my name from everything about Windows to something more general so if you have any ideas or suggestions